Hey guys, so I'm also going to do a segment of books that I plan on reading. Um, now that's including whether I'm going to read them now, whether I'm going to read them later, or whether I'm going to read it in the future. So there's this bookstore kind of not where I live, but it's it's about 30 minutes away um, and also down the street from my job. Um, the bookstore basically does this huge clearance sale, which is like the greatest thing that I've ever experienced in my entire life. So you can either get a bunch of books for a dollar or you can get seven books for five dollars, which is a big deal to me because every single time I go, I either get seven or 14 which should also let you guys know how many books I have. Um, probably somewhere near 600, which I think I've said before, but I'm not sure. So this one has a story behind it. I kept going to the bookstore to get the 7 or 14, and I kept coming across Patricia Cornwell, and I was like, who is this person? Why do I keep show seeing like 17 books of hers always on the shelf? I think someone just owned a bunch of her books and then they just brought them in to donate. But I could never find the first book in the series. Luckily, where I live, the library allows you to request a book if they don't have it and then they'll deliver it directly to you. So the first book that I'm actually reading right now, which is pretty great, um, I'm only two pages in, I think, but it sounds pretty good. Um, it's... Patricia Cornwell's Postmortem, and it's a series sur surrounding a um, an Emmy, so a medical examiner. So obviously it's a bunch of mystery, a bunch of death, and her life. Um, a lot of the TV shows that I watch right now, you know, the crime shows, CSI, Bones, Criminal Minds, and then I just started binge watching Crossing Jordan, which is awesome for the time that I'm reading this now because sometimes she'll say things and I'll be like, ooh, what is that? Ooh, what is that? Like about, you know, dead bodies and stuff, I guess. And I'm totally hoping that that comes into play when I start reading the series. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited because hopefully by the time I finally finish this book, I go back to the bookstore and they have all the other books. Um, the other ones that I have, Mary Higgins Clark, Moonlight Becomes You. It's pretty great. Um, it's supposedly about a woman who s witnesses a murder and then she goes into WITSEC and becomes, you know, this new person. And then you don't really know if they found her and they just are trying to integrate themselves into her life just to see what she saw, who she would pin as the murderer, etc., etc. So it's really interesting because I'm wondering if it's going to be like she's going to meet this new person and like fall in love with them and then she's going to find out that he's really like the killer. Like, I don't know. I'm, I don't know what's going to happen. And I love Mary Hayes Clark, so I'm really looking forward to it. I bought this book because it is a movie. I have seen the movie and I always wanted to read the book, but just convenience wise I never really picked it up because I was just never in that I was never in the I never had the opportunity to pick it up um The Fault in Our Stars by John Green I finally got it and yes it was surprisingly at the bookstore for a dollar I guess um somebody donated it or something I don't know but I found it for a dollar as opposed to like the 20 bucks that I would have paid for it at like Walmart or something um and as most people know I think a lot of people either read the book or they saw the movie it's about a couple well it's about two people who have cancer but they end up sort of kind of being a couple and it just is about the ups and downs of you know cancer and grief and life and I will definitely cry because I cried like a baby when I watched the movie. I mean, seriously, I cried like a baby. So I'm probably going to cry during the book. I am probably going to finish it in like one day if it's as good as people say because I probably will not want to put it down. Um, the last one is actually a series of books. So when I was a kid, I had to read The Giver by Lois Lowry in school. Like it was a requirement. I loved it. I still have it today. I loved it so much just because it was like my type of book. And I've been reading those kinds of books since I was like five anyway. Um, I've been I've been reading chapter books for a long time. So I was just really into it. And then probably less than um, less than four months ago, this guy tells me, oh, you're reading The Giver? 
And I'm like, yeah, I just went and saw the movie, so I figured I'd read it again just because I love it. And I loved the movie, by the way, and I'll probably do a review on that at some point. Um, and he was like, did you know that there's a series that they're actually there are actual books that come after The Giver. And it blew my mind. Like, I don't know if you guys love this book as much as I do, but it blew my mind because I had no idea. So when I went to this other bookstore, which is sort of kind of like a discount, um, kind of discount damaged goods place, it had the quartet. Yes, there are four books in this series. It had the quartet for $4.99. How crazy is that? So anyway, I got this huge book, The Giver, Gathering Blue, Messenger, and Sun. I got the four books for $4.99. As you can tell, I started reading The Giver again just a little bit, just so I can like, you know, pull myself back into the story. But I do plan on reading all four of them. I am so excited. I can't even believe that I found it for that cheap and that they're either even other books in the series. So if you guys have read any of the books that I talked about reading today, or if you guys have seen the movies, I don't know, The Giver or The Fault in Our Stars, please let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. That would be great. And I hope that I am going to be awesome at putting out book reviews better. Because like I said, I have a whole bunch of books and I haven't even done book reviews on like 1% of them. So I hope you guys look forward to that because I do. And I am hoping to put out book reviews every Sunday. So look back next Sunday and you should get more. All right, guys.